So as I'm you excited. see on the stream again, we have that lineup, Jace versus Rumble. We got Rum we got Rek'Sai versus the Amumu, Vladimir versus the Ari, Lucian versus the Kaelin, Thresh versus the Eh, double lead battle with the Malzahar. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. This is I'm cool. excited. This all is of the their uh all their some of their spells are matching up too, uh, quite nicely. Exactly. So Take a look at uh, Keystone Masteries. Um, Vlad has Storm Raiders. Usually, Surge. Vlad with Storm Raiders, he can stay on top of everyone, especially when it goes into Sanguine Pool. So, it's very typical for that one, right. obviously. Um, so, I wonder how it, you know how it's all going to start, because it's a Mumu. <laughs> exactly. You don't see a Mumu. It's exciting to me. <laughs> So we got the scoreboard. I need this timer away. Game hasn't started yet, so I've got it. Sweet. Yep, there it goes. It just started for me. <clears throat> Alright, so pretty standard item buys, nothing too unusual. So here um, we go, both teams ready to be on the rift. Gates are down and they are now unleashed. Kaylin's still being unleashed. Alright. I wanna see how this uh level one plays out because Team FS is just you know, moving all five of their members straight down to the uh, bot lane because Amumu isn't exactly, um, or Amumu is a jungler that you would want to invade into. Oh look, they just, just they got ahead and got pinged out, pinged, a few wards play, uh, placed down. Um, I don't think they're gonna get much of an invade unless they just want to trade buffs. To get vision to be able to see where they would start at, so uh, because. Rek'Sai could easily get booted and Mumu and take some camps, because, but Rek'Sai also has a slower clear because of the nerfs she recently got. She, Rek'Sai, is a she, so it looks like Rek'Sai's moving upward into the topside jungle. Or right, and a uh, nice uh, deep ward from Fridge over in the blue sides, uh, blue side jungle of, S uh, of FS. So it looks like standard basic leash for the Amumu. So going straight onto his blue Thresh. Uh, if you yeah. don't really see that, why they stand and try, because usually they have the biggest cheese. Malzahar can easily cheese. Up. So, that's what it looks like. Rek'Sai and the Rumble getting caught out by that ward there as they start moving. So Jace already went ahead and started up. Hopefully Lucian and the Thresh goes up. Starts clearing. Trying to do a little fake down here, trying to disguise that they're starting a bot. Wow, but... that was a really generous leash for the Mumu. Like, no damage taken, bot lane stayed basically the whole entire time. Alright, already got the shield already. So, what I'm more excited to see is probably this bot lane and mid lane matchup. Mostly with the Amumu, just to see what the Amumu does. Uh, Amumu has early clear a little bit faster than probably Rek'Sai, and already Ooh, with the charm. early charm with the Vladimir. Vladimir already at down to half health. Uh, he'll, he can sustain himself up on his uh, transfusion. Alright, going in with the level 2 death sentence miss there. As the Amumu is just chilling right there. Vladimir knows that the Amumu is right there too as well, so the uh, Ari knows. He tried, to, he tried to take some Raptors. Again, lands the charm on the Metro, so he has to it's dodge two those. for two. Exactly. He has to dodge those. But, I mean, even with the poke from the Vladimir, Vladimir can still heal up uh, with his Q as well. Um, pretty standard. Uh, nobody's gone anywhere. Rek'Sai is making her way down to the red side jungle. Her red side jungle. The bot. Moon was up here. Pretty healthy. Level 3 already. Level 3 to level 2. The exercise falling behind a little bit. I like the vision that blue side put out for the top side and the river. Uh, yeah. Ari Early knows. scuttle grab. Yeah, a lot of Early things, scuttle uh, going on where the red side. They know the red side is doing the red side. Well. And a little bit of fight going on bot lane. Looks like front side putting the trait there the Melzahar down a little bit. Both even in levels though. Uh, Caitlyn down by 4 CS, but it is Caitlyn. Caitlyn can easily farm all that back up. 
You know, I expected uh, Caitlyn Malzahar to go ahead and push the Thresh Lucian inside the uh, uh, inside to the turret already, but well, here it's... they go. They're starting to do that now. Uh, yeah. With no vision, Rex High heading his way bot lane to see. Probably going to do a cam and then leave. So and Malzahar with the early tribe vision ward, but with Rex High, can easily. Rex High is getting very low. Probably gonna have the back already. Most likely going back. Oh, that's sad. Reset the golem or the Krug. Yeah, she's definitely gonna have to go back. It's way too low. So, Rek'Sai at least still finished. But Abubu, of course, still at full health, full mana. Abubu definitely backed first to be able to start going yeah. through pressure. It's a Went good thing the... Abubu did not proc that plant, though. Because, uh, oh! Vlad going in with the early pressure. Both Ignites are on. Sanguine Pool. That Sanguine Pool first blood. First blood on the bottom here. That is that very... Vlad is always pick man. Exhaust flash by Malzahar. very low. Both summoners for an Go exhaust and, and flash by Malzahar. Nick Thresh still owns both summoners and also Lucian's both as well. So really scary bot lane with both of those supports at low health. Lucian already yeah. rocked his last biscuit as Caitlyn still has a biscuit as well. Malzahar still has two. Yeah, no, gonna... not, not wondering why... I'm wondering why he's not rocking it. Yeah, I'm wondering why he's not just gonna go ahead and do this. Exactly. Thresh has no biscuits already, so RU's popped all of them. Uh, looks like they are... Very the early game. control ward. Getting found out by the Rek'Sai. Getting pinged out, too. Ooh, so early. You know, it's very good for the Vladimir first blood, because he started with the Dark Seal. Now he has two stacks. That's an additional 10 AP, and he goes back and buys a full um, Hexec Revolver. So, so a lot more auto trades. Heal even more. When Spellvamp <laughs> gets deleted out of the game, they add it to an item, so... Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Vlad, he doesn't get his uh, Spellvamp. <laughs> I missed oh, Death so Malzahar putting some hope. It's kind of smart right. that Malzahar didn't pop a biscuit, because he doesn't necessarily need to. Um, right. And because... here comes Rek'Sai on the back uh, side of it, just gonna go ahead and... You know, tunnel over the wall. Tunnels over the wall, goes in, fresh with the yep, flash, right side with the flash knock up, play, and first Easy kill, Balzahar no. Lane, and Ooh. Rek'Sai picking up the second kill as well. Uh, Lucian one kill, Rek'Sai one kill. Great start for FS on ESG. No wars in the tri-bush down for them. Easy gank. It's really interesting why oh, are you already ulted away, going back in and also away. It's kind of rare. Yeah, go see ahead. even a Rek'Sai in game, so I'm assuming that teams don't know how to play against it. It looks like blue side, front side is trying to melt down this tower to go ahead and get first tower blood. While well, Boo goes ahead and picks up that enemy blue buff. I wonder if they're gonna give it the solo gold or just gonna go ahead and burn it. Oh, they, I don't think they can get it. I think they have to wait for one more wave. I don't think they have vision of where the other one is, so that's why they think they should back off. Boo would probably have a couple more items. A little head and farm. But farm doesn't really mean too much early in the game until it gets right. to the game. Um, if you look at the gold score, Rek'Sai is even in gold with the Moomoo despite, you know, being down. Exactly, because the Moomoo does have more farm, so... Ari really Ari. With the trade, with the rumble. chase, with the EQ, rumble. Half, half health, but it's rumble. Uh, he does have a He's gonna shield. finally pop his pot, you know, door and shield, keep him healthy. Vlad taking two tower shots for free. Uh, that's something you never want to do. So again, yeah. folks, this is why you don't see a Moo Moo in low end. Ooh, a Moo Moo, finally level 6. Finally. This is why you, you know. don't see him in competitive play, because he does start slow. Uh, a little bit hard for him to engage. Of course, he has the instant stun if he grabs onto someone, but very, very easy to tell. When he starts grabbing too, it's usually when he runs it. It's not like a thresh where he can just fling it forever. It's uh, really easy to tell where the hooks go. But hopefully we can see more play from the Amumu uh, here as he goes and buys. He's going AP, so... He's going Runic Echoes. I think it's just a very standard item for AP junglers to clear. Yeah. yeah Vladimir. Probably would have liked to see a Cinder Hulk a little bit more tanky of Amumu. You know, yeah, the unkillable so mummy. <laughs> Since he hasn't really done much in the game, so... 
Right. But we shall see. Hopefully the boom will pop off here. We don't know. Hopefully. So, I think that's a, a, a lethality Lucian. You know, going ahead, pick up the serrated Dirk. Probably gonna build into a Yomu's Ghost Blade. He's got all those components. Not even level six yet, even with the ganks and all. Um, a lot of ex kind of hopefully once you see a Rek'Sai just hit six, go ahead and back by and just start. Not a lot of tunnels either. This is a kind of a Rek'Sai that I haven't seen that doesn't really stack a lot of tunnels. So hopefully we can see some here. Right. I mean, level six for Rek'Sai isn't as important as like level six for a Mumu because uh, with the Mumus you have more of an impact. You know, Curse of the Sad Mummy, big AOE, lock down stun. Uh, Rek'Sai, you just Void Rush, you get to impact the map a little bit more, um, so, not Rek exactly rushing the level 6. Taking that Scuttle Cab from the river. Caitlyn taking some early poke from the Lucian, and the Mouse here gets grabbed, and Nessun's out, man. Whoa, level 6. With the heal. Uh, the heal comes out, Caitlyn has a body block. Very dangerous. Really Amumu is down there, though. Vlad's, Vlad's well, moving down. Well, there is down. 4 bot lane, so here we go. Here comes Rek'Sai. Oh, the team going in really Rek low. Very, very low. Double flash, Hemo Plague, and Sanguine Pool. Probably going to pick up another two kills. Ooh. Very clean so straight onto the Vladimir. Very clean. Didn't really have to dive at all. They just literally just walked up into the dry bush and gave them those kills. So they really did. Probably a, a uh, misinformant mistake. Usually you would have a competitive player play more in the dry bush. So hopefully they'll learn from that. And they pick up first tower point on the Lucian solo. You know, 650 in the pocket for an AD carry who wants to build a Thality. He's gonna put him pretty far ahead. Yeah, first dragon <laughs> goes over to front side. Looks like Fridge is handling himself really well on the, uh, on his side, so. Kinda, right. Kinda glad um, to see that at least. Even in farm. The thing about it is that. How, what happened for ESG is they didn't have any wards on their blue side jungle like leading up to that point there were it was completely dark and um I don't I don't think that you know if Rek'Sai is missing and Vladimir is missing and you have two low health um in the bot lane you should go ahead and just back off the turret give go ahead and give them the first break yeah, the tower is ever that low. Um, really interesting fact or a little tip. If your tower is below 25% health, um, it's always best to not stay because you have the biggest chance of probably getting killed. This Vladimir is way too far ahead. 301, 99, 61 in CS. Probably just keep in the lane, sustain up, not even worry about it. 7 stacks on his Dark Seal, too. Deep warding onto the red side as a move. Right, they just saw a Mumu and pinged them out too. Got Rumble going ahead to go bot shut up that bot lane, as this is the time usually when your bot and top lane rotates and lane swaps. EQ hit. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Shows a little bit of one sidedness right here. Uh, with all the vision and also the leaning against the Vlad and the Ari. Rek'Sai's looking for a kill mid lane, but Ari, I think, suspects something a little bit there. Uh, we'll see, because there's two control wards in either side of the river for ESG, but there's no wards in their jungle. Uh, that's waiting. meaningful. Rek'Sai going in, and Ari ults away. So, yeah. at, least, at least as an attempt. Just, so. just gonna go ahead and trade the ultimate, you know. Um, still has flash, so... Vladimir also being really low as well. Yeah, but he also has a sanguine pool for security and protobot to get away. Yeah. Oh, look at the bot lane fight, Jace between Rumble. Burns the equalizer, Jace has the flash. Probably just gonna go ahead and back off.
like happening in the mid lane. With Ori staying oh, actually going should, back in to shoot with the colleague. Yeah, who dead Ori. It's no chance. Blue oh. side with front See, side would... rotating very well. To be able to know that they couldn't give them top towers to rotate mid with the low Ori. So Jace with yeah. the power Q. Hits Vlad, but Vlad yep. probably heals. It right makes now. you question the Amumu pick now because now you're far. You're not, now you're behind. The jungle is not yours. You have no wards inside your own jungle. Um, it's kind of dark for you, and you just need a huge team fight to go ahead and turn it around because all of your lanes besides top lane is behind. Mid lane is behind, doesn't have a completed item, not even the Merlin Amicon versus the Vladimir, who is 4 0 1 with the Protobelt, 120 CS, 123 CS, Majai's. Your Caitlyn only has a BF Sword Grease versus the Yomu's Evolution. So. Also, the massive gold difference, too, as well. Almost two, already 2,000 gold lead from Lucian Caitlyn, so of course Lucian a full item practically up. Same thing with the Vlad and Ari almost 3k gold up. So right. Ari 7k gold lead by front side, so who knows? Maybe we'll see one of those late game fantastic games. One of the record books that we can play. But it'll be really late for that. They can turtle really well. We shall see. Who knows? Maybe we'll see an Amumu just pop off. <laughs> Really hard. It just starts shutting everyone because of the massive amounts of harm. It looks like Vlad is rotating top towards the Jace. Jace does have vision of the try, so hopefully you'll see that. It does see it, so Yeah, Jace... it's gonna go ahead and ping him out. Oh, but Jace doesn't wanna stop, he just wants to keep him. He does have a turret. He does have a turret, but uh, it looks like the team didn't rotate fast no, enough it's to get much like he's gonna get much. Lucian's still going in. Looks like the Amumu's there too as well. Flee the Amumu. Oh! They have a ton of mem- Get some death sentence. Flashes out. And the Kohle. Oh, he should go again, Kohle. Really nice pickup for them. Really nice catch. Jace is backing up the turret. It stopped. Very dangerous right here. With Jace going down to- At the wrong place at the uh, wrong time. I think he tried to teleport out. He, he tried to TP out. But, Teleporting you know, Thresh is there. Backing. Already took four turret shots already. Another one gets traded. Oh boy, I um I was awkward. I don't I don't know why she would take so many shots. Yeah, she took four tower shots there for some reason. So I'm wondering why that happened. So, it looks like front side easily going in. Taking really low amounts of health. Jace going in, cleaning up, trying to get there. Ari shuts down Lucian and shut down the Vladimir. A good equalizer there. Jace going in and getting the Thresh too as well. Three kills picked up for the Ari Rumble coming in, cleaning up this Jace with the double kill as well. Double kill the Jace and a double kill the Rumble. Honestly, for the a Rumble. team that's behind, it's technically a good thing to get four of two. No, four of three. So I think that's the only positive and side. And a uh, bottom tier one turret. Yeah, but it looks like but, um, he's gonna try his best to get this. And Mumu is up, so he's probably gonna get this mid tier two like turret. Red buff does do true damage to the tower, so it looks like Frank Sai's going ahead towards the dragon. So red tower does fall here in this game. So it looks like the only tower, outer tower, left standing is bot side. But as they work their way over to the dragon, it looks like dragon will be really low by the time they're no still trying to burn it as a Lucian and Darkseid trying to Oh burn. Thresh is by himself. I think I think he's pretty safe. And the calling comes out for Lucian as the dragon only has two thousand health left. I wonder if the Amumu can actually I'm go in. to go ahead and get in. He's, he's already in. Smite he gets the dragon. The dragon. Smite. 
Redemption still escapes. The bad show getting caught. Oh, there goes Vladimir on. getting locked down. Sanguine pulls the safety. Good. Lots of healing back from the Hemoplague. Good escape, but Rumble does try to take down this top tower by himself. Good smite steal by the Amumu. But it looks like the front side trying to stop all backs. With the flash of Dead Sentence. Oh, Thrash got a really good death sentence on the Jace. As so they fun. fight 5v4, Jace does get a double kill. Wow. I don't want to, like, either sacrifice a tower That's or a lot stop of it from backing. Of course they got top tower. Tons of damage. Exactly. You get the triple kill. Very interesting. But at what cost? You know, they're trading top play. inhibitor. Not top inhibitor, mostly just top tower. Inhib's still fine, so no super minions. But Jace is massive right now. Already fed. Yeah. Getting the triple Huge kill. chunk of gold in his pocket. Exactly. So it looks like Jace will be their savior for this game. Hopefully. We'll just see. We shall see. Jace get, does hurt. Rumble coming in with a good equalizer. It looks like. Massive charm by Ari to the Mubu. And a Rumble dies to the Ari as Malzahar runs away from Rek'Sai. Can't go anywhere. Rek'Sai cleans it up. Huh, a lot of fighting going on in this game towards late game. There was nothing practically happening for early game, but it looks like ESG wants to show up and show out. Try to, they only know the way to be able to get somewhere is to probably force something. And they're forcing stuff really well, so. Right, side that's making correct. some mistakes oh. around Dragon side. I'm losing three kills. They do get a top tower, so. but no inhib gone still. Oh, get this. Rylai's completed on the Vladimir. Gets a lot of slowing on his abilities. Chase is just gonna go ahead, try to see if he can go ahead and get him. But three, repeat, 3v1, shut down to the Vladimir. Yeah, rotations, rotations, rotations. Smiley vision in the jungle so you can see where they are at. I think he was trying to get vision on the Baron pit Probably and go ahead and clear top. But it looks like Red Side's looking for a sneaky, sneaky play. Probably collapse the back for having had, but it looks like oh, Jace is well needed to be able to get it. So, let's see what happens right here. As they oh, that Rek'Sai right. passive, go ahead and swats him out. As the Mubu goes in, Mubu goes in. The box comes old. out, and the Mubu ult comes out too as well with the pull and the lockdown Ooh. by the Mouse Bar. This is a very down. nice flank from ESG, but I, I don't think they're. Uh, you know. Good I think flank, they're just. Not enough. Yeah. I think if they waited like two more seconds for Jace to be up, they could they probably could have converted Thresh into be into a kill. So as it looks like top side of him is going down. First in him down at twenty one minutes. Looks like Rex I just can go and stick. That's awkward. <laughs> Rumble is pushing and pushing every single tower. It's very rare that you see a Rumble push a caster, a mage, to you as well. You figured he would want to be in the team fights with his team. Exactly. <laughs> I guess when Rumble you know, does things, he's getting stuff done, so that's the positive. Yeah, I guess you can't really complain. Exactly. I think if Rumble was in that fight, um, things would have been a lot more different because they were clumped together in the jungle. A good equalizer probably would have just prevented all of that to happening. But Rumble, now 60 odd CS in front of his uh, lane opponent. Um, and Usually it doesn't matter with the CS thousand. because he got so many solo towers from that. He's already 2k gold almost ahead of Jace too as well. Jace being their leading yeah. gold user too as well. Two thousand, almost fifteen hundred gold, more than everyone else too as well. So they're just gonna go ahead and set up his Baron pit. Either ESG fights or they just go ahead and give it up. But they're gonna move the Rumble right. up to the Baron pit as well. Start of so. the Baron, they have no idea. They probably have an idea, but Malzahar is backing, so I guess they're just gonna really give this thing up. They nope, they have no vision of the Baron Pit. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this ward and act like nothing's gonna happen, but so not even Baron goes, me. you know, Baron goes to FS for basically free. Lots of good wards and de-warding, so. Kind of a mistake by ESG. Past 23 minutes, you should always look to see if the objective's getting taken. Not even a blue trinket yet for the Jace. Jace with a weird build. 
Uh, usually no one goes for the edge of night anymore because of the massive nerf and Kaylin getting a chunk of her health going. Wow, on. that's a big <laughs> chunk of damage. That's not even the Crimson Rush. Exactly. Or the Q, it's just a regular Q. So we should see here, if I was ESG, if they get close to the tower, that's the best time to really go in and try to make something happen. Jason is there as well. But Vladimir fed is not a fun Vladimir to play against. Yeah, he's 9, 2, and 6, 170 CS. CS doesn't really make the difference here. But these 19 stacks on his Magi definitely do. Going in and trying to tower dive. That's Jace. Can't really try to tower dive, but Jace, he will knock you back. Oh, Death Sense lands on Ari nice with, the on the Ari. with the Ari ult. Has to spare rush out. Almost a kill on the Jace from the Vladimir. Caitlyn goes down with the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai solo kills the Caitlyn. Kabuma ult comes down with the Mouse Heart. Q, minions, and auto to take that kill off of Rek'Sai. That flash by yeah, Mouse Heart, that cleanse by the Lucian. Is Lucian gonna get out? He used all summoners to be able to live. It was so close. <laughs> he only used the heal, he still has his splash. Good QSS by Lucian. I think, I think if there's a Malzahar the on the other team, you buy a QSS pretty early. Even the Vladimir have the QSS. You know? Jesus, Frontside shows no mercy trying to take down all the inhibitors. At 25 minutes. Oh. Looking fun, looking exciting. As um, also Vlad takes another chunk out of, out of the Ari here. Not so... a lot of MR, not a lot of... It's very interesting. Items. The Equalizer going down, melting. Equalizer going down, Rumble goes down. Ari goes Kill. down. There's just too much AoE magic damage on the side of FS that... And there's no magic resist to go ahead and counteract it. Get that KDA up with the Descents, miss the Descents. Yeah, fluff those down. KDAs. <laughs> That's me going ahead and see. <laughs> front side going to take game one. Oh, wow, that's, I think that was pretty one-sided, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Honestly, with the Amumu pick, it's very interesting, because I expected probably the Amumu to be able to do a little bit more, um, I think but... they were going for, like, more late game, but to get to the late game, you have to survive the early game, which didn't exactly happen. A solo kill from the Vladimir on the R and, like, Six minutes in and um, diving the bot lane by the Rek'Sai and the Lucian and the Thresh. It, everything kind of just went wrong.